All right guys, so with the new iOS 17, you can use external webcams now. So that means you can connect up to, uh, you know, uh, USB-C external webcams and stuff. So the makers of Halide and Spectra and a couple of others camera uh, apps, um, if you know about those, they made an app where you can use your iPad as an external monitor now for pretty much anything, and it's free. The only thing you have to pay for is the 4K upscaling, which is AI, CRT emulation, stuff like that, and then, even then it's only five bucks. But it's called Orion on the iPad store, and it has to be USB-C and up. So any year, I have the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch, so this is five years old, and I'm running, I can run an external monitor from my PS5 right there to my iPad. But as you can see, use your iPad external HDMI monitor, 4K upscale, CRT emulation, picture adjustments. You can use it for a camera monitoring if you're recording your gaming consoles. Um, so all you need is a USB-C capture card dongle. Um, I got mine for, this thing is, uh, was five bucks, or not five bucks, 15 bucks on uh, Amazon. Cheap, super cheap. And uh, so I connected my PS5 to it anyways. So what you do is download it, open it up. This is where you're at, where you'll see a video manual, um, settings you can change, stuff like that. So anyways, right now I have my PS5 right there, HDMI connected into this. What I'm gonna do is plug it into the USB-C port so it's connected and now I'm gonna turn my PS5 on and you'll see it start running there in a second. All right, so I ran into a bit of a hiccup. I guess the cheap HDMI capture card I got on Amazon for 15 bucks. Um, not sure what's going on with it. I'm not getting any audio right now, but I do get video, so I'll show that. And I'll, uh, I'll reach out in the comments and let you guys know if it's an issue with the capture card or what's going on, but Anyways, you open up the app, you'll see this where it says view manual settings, try demo. Anyways, so USB-C plugged into my PS5, plug it in, it automatically detects the video. Good workaround for this is I'm just going to connect my headphones to my controller and do it that way. But as you can see from there, I'm now connected. Um, to my PS5 on my iPad. So yeah, it's easy as that. Audio, uh, another issue. Not really sure what's going on there, but yeah. So yeah, when I, I'll boot up a uh, activity here real quick. And yeah, so I mean, this was only 15 bucks. So I'm not really surprised that it's not working right now. Like, you know, it is what it is. But for a free app, and to now be able to like use as an external monitor instead of having to use something else, like you can't beat that. Also, if anybody has any fixes in the comments, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but uh, like I have it up to full, like it's full brightness, full sound. I'm just not getting anything for some reason. But as you can see, everything's loaded up. My PS5 is playing. This also isn't cloud, so it's native. And yeah. So, if you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know. And uh, I'll reach out in the comments below.